In this video I'm going to show you how to apply a glow effect to a portrait photo. Um, so I'm using this image here by Eflon from Flickr. Um, so thank you very much to them for giving it a Creative Commons license that allows modification. So I've loaded it up into Photoshop. Um, the first thing that we need to do is to duplicate the layer. So I'm just going to press Ctrl and J on the keyboard with the background layer selected and that's created a duplicate layer. Now up on the menu go to Filter, Blur and Gaussian Blur and then you want to select a blur that um, the radius level for the blur you want to make it so you can still sort of identify what the photo is of but it's got a nice sort of blur um, giving it sort of a slightly dreamy effect to the photo so for this one uh, as you can see I've already done it before and I've got 22.4 pixels dialed in the exact amount of radius that you want to use depends on how large the image size is so I'm just going to click OK on that and now we've got our blurred layer here now we want to change the blend mode of the blurred layer soft light can sometimes work well but most of the time you'll probably want to use the overlay blend mode so I'm just going to click on overlay there and you can see that gives quite a nice sort of dreamy glow to the photo um, the colors here are a bit uh, too yellow for my liking so what I'm going to do is down here I'm going to create a hue saturation adjustment layer and I'm going to clip that to the blurred layer do that by holding down the alt key on the keyboard or it would be the option key on a Mac and as you can see when I move the cursor between the two layers between the hue saturation layer and the blurred layer it changes into two overlapping circles so I'm just going to click and that's now clipped the hue saturation adjustment to our blurred layer and we can reduce the saturation to reduce the effect if we go down to zero you can see it's still quite a nice photo um, and as we increase the saturation you get more of that yellow effect in the colors um, obviously you can play around with other things as well but that's it really